Hey, how's everybody doing? Looks like we have uh, a totally dead DeWalt 20 volt battery. It's been sitting around for several years because when you put it in the charger, it does absolutely nothing. The charger doesn't even know it's there. Compared to a good battery, that works and will charge. <clears throat> so, what are we going to do with this one? You can put it in the charger. It can sit there overnight, it can sit there for days, it can sit there for a week, it will not charge. The charger doesn't even know that it's there. Uh, my understanding is that the charger, the battery needs to have some kind of charge in there for the charger to recognize it and start charging. This battery has absolutely no charge, it's totally dead, so the charger does not know that it's even there when you put it in. So instead of throwing this out and paying $50 for a new battery, the solution is to jump start this battery with this good battery. So first I'm going to get a good charge on this battery and then we're going to jump start it. Alright, so what I wanted to do real quick was just make sure what these all these leads are because there's five leads in here. Uh, so they're all labeled, but with uh, like H3, H1, but the two on the outside say B plus and B minus. So that seemed like the obvious uh, place for positive and negative. And indeed, on the good battery, I'm getting 17.9 on my meter. Let's see if you can see it there. 17.9. Uh, you probably can't see it. You might have to take my word for it. There we go. Let's see. Look at that, 17.9. Now, put it on the bad battery. What do you think you're going to get? Zero? Hey, 1.8. All right. But it's not enough to get the charger to think that something's there to charge. All right. So the idea is to get some charge into this battery. <clears throat> so how can you do that? Uh, my thoughts were uh, to use, throw a trickle charger on there, or I have a car, car battery charger to do, but what if you don't have those things? You most likely do have another battery that's good. So, let's put positive to positive, negative to negative. Hopefully it doesn't, oh, very tiny little spark, okay, and uh, let that sit for, I don't know. 17. We've got 17 shared. 17 1. Now that doesn't mean that this dead that this bad battery has 17 on it because we got we're getting it from this battery as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is just let it sit for like a minute, minute and a half and uh, try to throw it on the charger and see if the charger recognizes it. Be right back. All right, so that was really no more than two minutes. And I want to tell you again, because it's not obvious uh, since I'm using two red wires, but positive to positive, negative to negative. There's a little bit of uh, questioning that on the Internet going on, but that is what you do. Positive to positive, negative to negative, all right? So let's try it. It's really... And it's smart to take the uh, terminals out of both, uh, take the negative off of each. Otherwise, if you leave positive and negative in the good battery, uh, and the ends somehow touch each other, I think you're going to do damage to the battery. All right, so here's the poor battery that we just hopefully jumped. Let's see. Huh. And there it goes, blinking. All right, so the charger has recognized this battery. It's charging this battery. I'm going to let it charge, uh, let's see, uh, blinking means it's charging, uh, solid means it's charged. So I'm going to give it a few hours when it's solid, hopefully it gets solid. I'm going to come back and pop it in the drill and let's see if we uh, solve the problem. Alright, so I can't wait an hour or overnight or whatever to know if this is done. So this is... Uh, literally two, three minutes later, maybe five minutes. All right, so once again, this was the good battery, right? 
This was the good battery. This is the battery we used to jump the dead battery. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Before this battery wouldn't even make this blink. All right, The charger didn't even know it was there when you put it in. Now it's blinking, so I believe that it's charging. It's been charging for maybe five minutes. All right. Remember before we put this battery in here, it didn't do anything. I'm hoping that it does something now. Look at that. So, just save 50 bucks, and now back to two batteries for the cost of absolutely nothing. A couple of wires. Uh, you do need these ends. This is great for that. Just a uh, box of uh, various different sizes and uh, connectors. And it helps to have a multimeter. Everybody should have a multimeter. My father, uh, this is probably the third one my father bought for me. I am probably ha have about five multimeters now. Can't have too many multimeters. All right. Thanks for watching. Like it if you like it. Bye.